I'm Heather. I'm Katie. And I'm Miles. We're excited because we're working on the Nomad again today. And we are actually painting, like actual paint paint, not Yay. primer paint. And the boys are in the trailer, the other, the other two boys, I have one boy here, and the dad are in the trailer and they are building the benches in there. So just let's see what happens today. Don't, not sure what we're gonna get done. These are our cabinet fronts with one coat of white paint on them. They're looking pretty good, I think. Excellent. And your paper weight. <laughs> <laughs> See it right here. Uh -huh. Such a goober. Yep. Sorry, he's taken. He's, he's taken. spoken for. Yep. <laughs> Why are you excited? I got a job. She got a job. She's a she's an employed person again. Yay! <laughs> Best tool ever. Best tool ever. Best tool ever. All right, my love, you ready? So this piece. We're so close. If you take a look at what we've done so far, we're very close to fitting this piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this thing down so that it'll fit under the slip. But look at all the work we've done. We got some trim going, yep. we got some paneling going. Yep. We made this so it lifts out so that there's some storage underneath it. Nice. Like that. Yep. Ignore the unfinished plumbing. Yeah. And uh we're gonna screw this piece down um, and uh, make sure it fits, of course. Yeah. There it goes. And so this piece will screw down, this piece won't, this piece will screw down, we're done. But, but we're making some good project. And look back there, the kids have put the first coat of white paint on. So yeah, there we go. It's on white She's coming together. And not, not primary anymore. It's funny how when they paint, they think the harder that they paint, the more will go on. <laughs> when it comes to painting, get your paint on the ceiling and not edging right. So, what happened on the ceiling here? We were not. What gonna... happened on the ceiling here? <laughs> <laughs> This is but, what happens when a 12 year old boy paints. It looks so good though, babe. That white looks wonderful, don't you think? Because Max yeah. painted it. <laughs> oh, I found the knobs that got painted, Kate. Oh, they got painted. Wait, what? The knobs. They got painted. Those knobs? Uh huh. Knobs are down there. Knobs. They painted, painted white. over the knobs, which. Oh, I was wondering what you were talking that was about. Jack that is another one of my pet peeves. That was Jack. <laughs> Take the knobs off. Right. So, well, yeah. Heather's on it. Look at this beautiful, awesome. Antique. So uh, I've, I've scrubbed. Now I'm just I waiting for the bucket of clean water to clean it all out. <laughs> I mean, this color is perfect. I love this color. This color, is, we should paint the whole th place this color. No, no, we should not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. You They're getting it all cleaned up. It looks good. We've got electric electricity plugged into our trailer. And look at the new... Uh, <laughs> Look at the new light that I installed right there and uh, all the lights are working except for one and so fresh and clean yep. ready to rock and roll yeah all the gross stuff's out of the bottom and we're washing those other pieces in the dishwasher yeah, so we'll all get the those trays back in. in here we're washing really well in the dishwasher I love it I absolutely love it I'm so excited This is the Miles cam because my dad can't fit in here anymore. Okay. 
this one is here. You look clean, by the way. I am. I feel so much better. Yep. All right. I think I figured it out. Yeah, there you go. All right, that one goes on the bottom. That looks good, babe. This this is gonna be awesome. There's a big rainstorm happening out right now. Although that's not why your hair is wet, is it? No, I think maybe because I didn't want these to dry in the dishwasher because they's old and I was yeah. afraid they would. I think maybe if we prop the refrigerator open and just let them air dry, that probably would be better. All right. It's all clean, it's all ready to go. So I'll be honest with you, this was a long one but our kids nailed it. They did a great job. They did all this painting, all the painting I'm gonna show you. We've still got some plumbing to do and I think that's gonna be next time because there's some plumbing issues with the hot water heater and I've really gotta get some help on that. The water heater looks like it's busted. I don't think the water heater's gonna make it, but you never know. So we're gonna get that checked out. But let me show you all the things that we got accomplished today, okay? Heather says sometimes I get too wordy, so I'll try not to bore you guys too much, but if you look right here, we built this all today. We did all of that. Um, they have uh, access panels so that we can get to what's underneath and we can check leaks if there's anything leaking underneath there. These two, this one and this one, are gonna be screwed down so that uh, they don't move around and we can, uh, we're not gonna store anything in there. Those are just strictly for the water tank and the water pump, but here, this thing's not gonna be screwed down and it just lifts out with these finger holes and we can uh, stuff blankets down there. We can do a lot down there with that. But look at that, we paneled all of that. Heather and Max and Jack did all the measuring, did all the cutting and gave me the pieces and I just pieced it all together. Doesn't that look fantastic, you guys? I'll tell you what, my family's the bomb, they killed it. This is really coming together. It's looking way better than I thought it would. This is gonna be great. Heather's gonna make cushions that are just on the bottom right here that are for us to sleep on. And then up here, if you look, we decided that we're gonna just turn this into a storage area. This has doors that go on it. Paint on my finger. These have doors on it. We're gonna probably not paint back there, but these have doors that'll go on it. And this is where we're gonna put blankets and luggage and backpacks and all kinds of stuff that'll go up there. It's supposed to be a fold down bunk, but I'll be honest with you, it doesn't hold very well. Max tried to climb up there and we started hearing it crack and I just told him to get off and we're not gonna try to do it. Um, we don't wanna lose any space putting a support right there uh, through here. So we're just gonna leave that. I think that's great storage for us. We need storage in this thing anyway. So I think that's perfect. All right, so check this out. All the painting that got done, look at this beauty. Um, it is amazing. Hang on, I gotta turn a light on so you can there see. There we it. go. So, all this got painted. All of this got painted. Our original plan was not to paint this, but I think it looks way better painted. Katie did this part, did a great job. All around here to the dinette. Um, all along the bottom there. We're putting new flooring in, don't forget. And then look here. All painted. Doesn't that look great? We're excited. The doors will go on there. There's doors for that. And uh, of course you guys remember the fridge. Now, one thing we did discover as we started playing around, we plugged the camper in and we learned that the lights from here back and the outlets do not work. And so something happened when we were uh, getting this all put back together with the wiring. So I've got some problems to solve when it comes to the wiring because we can't get anything to work. We checked the light bulbs already. Um, there are both fuses and breakers to this thing. So we're gonna have to check both and make sure they work. Now, one thing to note is the light ball, the light uh, balances are old, but they do work. We, we worked them beforehand. So we know for sure that that's not a new thing. That's something that works. All right, now these guys, I don't think the seals are solid on them. So we're gonna have to go to the roof soon and we're gonna have to seal this bad boy because we felt a little bit of splash of water coming in here. So I think the ceiling, I'm sorry, the roof on this thing is gonna need some sealant on it. If you take a look at this next one back right here, you'll notice a giant hole in it. So that'll need to be repaired. And then the other skylight in the bathroom is okay water heater that's what I think is probably the issue when it comes to our water leak 
So I'm not gonna set this up to fail again. We're gonna take that through a full check and make sure there's no leaks and that uh, we repair it. I've got a great guy, great friend who knows how to do these repairs. I'm gonna sick him on it and see if he'll help me fix it. If it's beyond repair, we'll go without hot water for a while. Don't judge, we're a work in progress. This is all the plumbing and extra stuff I need to do still. Uh, one little trick that we learned is we had a squeaky floor down here on this uh, joint right here. And what I did is I took liquid nail and I put it in the joint, first of all, and then I tried to feather it back and forth. I don't know that I did a great job with it, but I tried to feather it back and forth so that the squeak, 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 squeak would be less. So a lot of folks have been asking us, what's the budget on this thing? What are you doing? How are you affording to get this fixed? Where, where are you buying the materials? We're really going moment by moment. When we have extra money to pour into it, we will. But I'll be honest with you, it hasn't been very expensive. We have, uh, we paid $1,500 for the trailer and then we've paid for supplies, but they have not, I don't know what they've equaled, so I won't even try. I haven't added those up yet, but it's well worth it to have a nice place for us to camp. And uh, I'll, I'll add that stuff up and I'll get back to you. But one of the cool things is we're reusing material. If we have material that's sitting around, if we have material that is back in our boneyard, back behind the shed, we'll use that material so that we can uh, save on our costs. And much of the bench I'm sitting on right here was made out of that used material. Heather just came in and told me she's not cooking tonight. And I said, no problem, dear. I love you. Don't cook tonight. Go get whatever you want and make it so we don't, we don't have to cook. Um, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you like the progress that we're making. It's so much fun and it's so rewarding to try something like this. As you guys know, this is not my wheelhouse. And it was a real team effort today where everybody cut the things they were supposed to cut. Everybody did the things that they were supposed to do. Um, and they did a great job. The kids rocked the painting. I mean, rocked it. We're gonna give this a second coat and that'll come in a, maybe a day or two. And then we're going to head into the plumbing world and see if we can at least get the plumbing mapped out and figure out why the electricity is being so weird. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great week. And we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>